If borehole drilling is on your mind, think no further than deep waters drilling. We offer borehole sighting and drilling with a team of professionals fully equipped and trained at affordable prices with quality guaranteed. We also offer installation of solar and electric pumps, solar panels, tanks and tank stands. For more information, contact us on the numbers appearing on screen now. Deep Waters Drilling, bringing life to the nation. Hello guys, this is the Chief Air Marshal, Ola 7 Owen Way Kwamadono on your favorite podcast show, the Ola 7 Podcast Show. Welcome to a brand new show, the Genius Kids Show, where we interact with young, intelligent children who are talented in all aspects, be it academically, sport, or any other areas. So it's a platform uh, given to the children uh, to showcase their skills, share their knowledge, and even school as um, you know adults as well. Because at this age, so so. So our first guest is an intelligent young man. Let me call him um, very intelligent young man. Nchambo Woods, I say this guy. Oh, maybe I should let him, you know, <laughs> tell you how we met. So we call him Mr. Bacon. He will, however, share uh, with us his real name, his birth name. Say. Hello, Mr. Bacon. How are you, my brother? I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing, uh, all of I'm all right. Welcome to the Genius Kids Show. I'm so glad to be here. I didn't expect me to be here. Uh -huh. Me? No. <laughs> but you're here. Yes. Finally, you're here. And tell me, how does it feel, you know, being the first guest to be on the show? It feels amazing. Mm. I never expected mm -hmm. to be the first guest on this particular show. Yeah? It feels amazing. It feels amazing? Yes. And the men would like to know that, uh, you know, uh, who named you Mr. Bacon? You know, I'm just curious. Uh, so this was two years ago. I don't really know. There was a DJ uh, at Star FM. Yeah. So I called being a child, right? I wanted to... So I called uh, the the DJ from mm -hmm. Star FM. Yeah. I said, "Hey, I'm new," and she was like, "Hey." She didn't ask me my name. Yeah. Um. So after introducing ourselves, except with the name, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She asked me a few questions. I reply, and she asked me this one particular question. She was like, "Um." What is your favorite food? Mm. And I'm like, my favorite food is uh, bacon. <laughs> and she's like, oh, so can I call you Mr. Bacon? And I'm like, sure, why not? Exactly. And then we st I stuck with that uh -huh. for two years. Mr. Bacon. Mr. Bacon. So is it the same name uh, they call you, I mean, uh, in school? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes? Yeah, when they're joking around. Uh -huh. But they know that I'm Mr. Bacon yes. from Star FM. Yes. Yes. So what is your birth name? My birth name is actually Adonis Nyangoni. Mm -hmm. Adonis? So, Adonis Nyangoni. Nyangoni. Been hiding that name for two years. Why? I didn't expect anyone <laughs> to ask me. <laughs> no, that's fine. So, you know, how old are you and uh, which grade are you in? Um, I am 12 years old. I'm going to grade 7 mm -hmm. or form 1. We'll see. So. Uh, you know, for the couple of times I've interviewed, uh, interviewed you, interacted with you, uh, you have shown a great interest in the astronomy world. Am I correct? That's so, correct. So I, I want you to tell me, you know, what inspired uh, your love for the science world? The beauty of it. It's mm -hmm. just beautiful. I started learning about this when I was like four years old. Mm -hmm. So every time I had a chance to, I'll just search up on the internet and say... Like four years? Yes, four years. I search up on the internet or mm -hmm. ask my brother to search up on the internet saying... Mm -hmm. What is astronomy? Mm -hmm. What is science? Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Something like that, right? So, I got to know about it and I was fascinated about it. Mm -hmm. And I used to say, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. this is beautiful. Now, most scientists uh, think that, uh, oh, God's not real. But me, I'm a scientist that yeah. does think yeah. God is real. Uh -huh. God created all these beautiful things mm -hmm. for humans to enjoy. Yes. So, I believe in that. Since, you know, I'm just fascinated by, by the age. Since four years. Yes. Four I, can't years. Be, I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe it. So who else, I mean, at home, is so much into science? Is that just... I think it's me. Really? I think it's just me. And what programs do you, do you watch on TV? 
Uh, I watch a variety of programs. Mm -hmm. uh, not on TV because, or maybe I do watch on TV. I watch on uh, Nat Geo. Mm -hmm. I watch, um, I think that's the only program I watch. Yeah. And I also Because I'm trying watch... to think, where, where, where did you get this, you know, science, you know, aspect from? Um, the internet, basically. Mm -hmm. I got it from the internet. I, I used to search up mm -hmm. because I... I, I love stars, yeah. I admire the stars, and I say, hey, what is that up there? What is that bright object that comes out at <laughs> night? Yeah. Uh, that comes out uh, in the day, but yes. that's in the night. Mm -hmm. I search it up, look it up, and yeah, that's how I got interested into astronomy. That's very interesting. So I have a couple of questions for you about uh, you know, our planet, uh, since you are well-versed in that uh, department. And maybe you can let us share with me other you know, educational stuff, all right? Yes. So from what I've gathered, astronomers are scientists you know, who study planets, Correct. the stars and other celestial bodies. Yes. And, uh, but maybe if you can print, uh, paint a picture, you know, Mr. Bacon, um, for us, uh, um, what, this, what the space is like, you know, uh, from what you know. Um, space is, uh, is empty. It mm -hmm. is, it, it literally comes from the word space, right? Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a lot of space. Mm -hmm. But in some parts in space, like our solar system, yeah. we have different celestial bodies, like mm -hmm. the sun, we got planets, and so many stars. Yeah. So that's just a little summary of space. There's mm -hmm. a lot more to space, mm -hmm. like asteroids, but we'll get into that mm -hmm. uh, as soon as you ask me the questions. <laughs> yeah, because I've got, uh, you know, very, very interesting questions here. Uh, I want to know a lot because I, I actually, I'm actually learning, you know. So okay. let us start by, I want to ask you one after the other. Questions. I want to know. I'm, I'm, I'm learning now. I'm sure even those who are watching at home are also learning from Mr. Bacon. <laughs> but I think you should, I mean, look for a name uh, which is, or which resonates with uh, astronomers or something. Uh, not really sure uh -huh. of, the, of a name I can give. Uh, let, me, let me think of something. Maybe I'll give you one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So how many planets are in our solar system? There are eight planets in our solar system. Mm -hmm. Those being Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Wow. 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 That's interesting, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sure of words, guys. I'm sure. Eh? Mom just said my planet, guys. But okay, let's continue. So which planet is the closest, you know, to the sun? Mercury is the closest to the sun. How did you know that? I study astronomy. Ah, yes. so you're an astronomer? Basically. <laughs> so what do planets in the solar system orbit around? They orbit around the sun, uh, ah. the big ball of energy, mm -hmm. the one we see in the day. Yeah. It actually um, pulls the planet, right? They, ho they hold the planets together. Mm -hmm. So that's why there's a gravitational force. That's mm -hmm. why planet Earth isn't out in the abyss, yeah. it's protected by Earth, by, by, by the sun. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Wow, so which is the biggest planet, um, I mean, uh, in the solar system? The biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter, filled with gases. Wow. And whatever you do, do not visit Jupiter. It will not be a fun experience. <laughs> you will die immediately. There's no surface. Mm. It's just gas, gas, gases, thunder, everywhere. You'll mm. be twisted apart. And Jupiter's gravitational pull is, is strong. So even if you're like maybe 50 million miles away mm -hmm, from mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. you, can get, you can still get stuck from, by it. Wow. Yeah. Ah, that's scary. That's scary. So which planet is the fed, um, furthest you know, from the sun? Um, the furthest planet from the sun is Neptune. It's mm -hmm. also the coldest. The coldest? Yes. So Jupiter is the... Hottest? No, Jupiter is not the hottest. Mm. It's, it is the biggest. The biggest, but not the hottest. Yes, the hottest planet, it's not the closest. Mm -hmm. It's actually the second planet from the sun, which is oh. Venus. Oh, I see. It, Venus is the, uh, is the second planet from the sun, right? Mm -hmm. But it's the hottest at the same time because it has, it's like a greenhouse. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it has thick clouds mm -hmm. that trap 
carbon dioxide, making it the hottest planet in the sun. Mm. Hotter than Mercury, the mm. closest from the sun. Wow, I see. So you were, you were talking about this one? Uh, Jupiter? No, no, the other one, which is the, uh, the furthest from the sun. Oh, Neptune. Neptune, yeah. Neptune. You were telling me something about that. Yes, Neptune is the coldest planet mm -hmm. from the sun. Mm. And it's also like Jupiter, but a bit smaller, mm -hmm. but a lot icier. A lot icier? Yes. Wow. Hey guys, I don't want to I think the are not Okay, so how many planets in the solar system are made of gas? Four planets in our solar system are made of gas. Mm -hmm. Those are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They're also called Jovian planets. So when they're made of gas, right, um, they really don't have a surface to land on. Mm -hmm. So it makes it hard for astronomers to visit. No one has ever visited those planets, mm, ever. Mm. Um, you can die from even going close to them because mm -hmm. of the gravitational force okay. and harsh environment. Mm. Mm. So, um, you know, out of uh, curiosity, uh, which planet is uh, the smallest? Uh, the smallest planet is Mercury, the closest to the sun. Mercury? Yes. Tell me about Mercury. Mercury, the smallest planet from the sun, the second hottest, even though it's closer to the sun. Um, it is a rocky planet. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like, if you like to land on Mercury, it's not going to be a fun experience too. Because mm -hmm. first of all, no oxygen, or even if there is oxygen, it will be too thin for mm -hmm. you to breathe. Okay. Uh, gravity on Mercury. It's just like the moons, uh, you would weigh a little bit less mm. on Mercury. Mm, mm, mm. And its heat is, um, it's, hot, it's hotter than most planets except for Venus. Mm -hmm. So visiting Mercury is not a fun experience. No. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, um, true or false, uh, uh, the moon is a planet. False. The moon is not a planet. It is a celestial body that orbits uh, pla our planet Earth. There are multiple moons out there in our solar system, mm -hmm. even in other solar systems. Mm. So we have even um, Jupiter has moons. It has 64 moons. Mm -hmm. Saturn has moons. Um, Uranus does not have moons. Mm -hmm. And... Neptune does not have moons. So the only planets that have moons are Jupiter, Saturn, um, Mars, mm -hmm. and Earth. Four planets. Four planets. Yes. I only um, you know, know of one moon that you know, <laughs> lights up you know, the night. Yeah. yeah, that's the only moon I know. Yes. And also, moon, the moon is also... Uh, of the celestial body that is capable of changing, um, like you know, there's an ocean, there are oceans all yeah. around the moon, oh, right? Yeah. Mm. So, without the moon, we would have tsunamis all day. Oh, okay. So, but the moon controls it basically. So, you mean the moon controls tsunami? Uh, basically, but how? That's a question for another day. <laughs> that's a question for another day. Okay, but I didn't know about that. I, I, okay, that's like my homework. I'm going to do more of, you know, research on right. that one. So, um, what are planets, you know, made of rock called? They're called terrestrial planets. Mm -hmm. Our Earth is a terrestrial planet. It's mm -hmm. made of rock. Yeah. I, I didn't know about that. There are four planets that are made of rock, mm -hmm. terrestrial planets. Those being Mercury, Venus, Earth... And Mars. Mm. Yes. So let's move on. And um, how long does it take, you know, uh, light rays uh, to travel from the sun to the earth? It takes eight minutes and 18 seconds, approximately eight minutes and 18 eight seconds. Eight minutes, 18 seconds. Yes, but in short, just eight minutes. Ooh, guys, <laughs> this is just too much. The genius kids show. And look, I'm talking to this one. He's very genius. He's a genius. His name is Mr. Bacon Adonis. Nyangoni. Yes. On the Genius Kids show. Wow. Okay, so, um, you know, I want to know, uh, what is the distance between uh, Earth and Sun? 
the distance between Earth and Sun um, in kilometers is um, approximately 150 a million kilometers, mm. but to be precise, is 149.6 million kilometers. Wow, 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 that's so amazing, interesting. And uh, what gases make up the sun? Um, hydrogen and helium, but there are multiple gases like oxygen, um, carbon dioxide, but those are just, they're, they're small. Mm -hmm. they're, they, they come in small quantities. Yeah. The major gases in the sun mm -hmm. is hydrogen and helium. Okay. You know, um, each time I try to look uh, at the sun, I, I, it's very difficult for me. I cannot, you know, face the sun. Look, I, I wear specs. So it's, it's, it's very difficult for me. And, uh, the reason why I'll be trying to look at the sun is I want to know the color. So what, you know, is the uh, color of the sun? Now, most people think it's orange-yellow. It's an orangish-yellow color. But that's just not the case. Mm. It's white. It's white. The sun is white. Uh, How so? The sun, uh, we have rainbows. You yes. Know? Um, actually, the sun isn't white. It's just mixed up with a lot of colors. Mm -hmm. And those colors are called white, according to my research. Okay. Yes. It's called white. Yes. All those colors. White. Oh. <laughs> so the average distance, uh, the distance of, uh, distance of, planets from the sun in kilometer are approximately what? So we have our first planet, Mercury, 57.9 million kilometers. Wow, 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 that's so accurate. Uh -huh. um, we have Venus, mm -hmm. which is uh, 108.2 million kilometers. Jeez. Then we have our planet Earth, that is 149.2 uh, six million kilometers. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, uh, another planet called Mars, which is 227.9 million kilometers. Wow. Then we have our gas giant, mm -hmm. Jupiter, which is a uh, uh, 778 uh, point two, no, point three million kilometers. Mm -hmm. Now we have Saturn. Mm -hmm. Saturn being 1.4 billion mm. kilometers. That's too much. Yes, that's, that's a lot. Much. That's a lot, right? Yeah. Now we have our planet Uranus, mm -hmm. which is uh, 2.9 billion kilometers. Mm -hmm. And then we have our planet Neptune, Neptune yeah. which is 4.5 billion kilometers. Jeez, that's like I don't know. Yeah, ah, that's, that's, that's a long distance. too much. That's too much. So uh, these are uh, uh, these values are based on average distances as the planets uh, follow elliptical orbit signs. Okay, is that correct? So yes. there's um, some questions. You know, there are some questions that I want to ask uh, in multiple choice. All right. Yeah. So I want to know how many centimeters are there in ten kilometers? Okay. Um, there, there so is. So I'll, I'll give you maybe answers. Okay. Uh, since it's a multiple choice, so um, I, I wrote something down here. I want to test your your IQ as well. All right. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, the question is: How many centimeters are there in ten kilometers? A hundred. B uh, ten thousand. Um, sorry, one thousand. Uh, C ten thousand. D one hundred thousand. E it's 1 by 106. The answer is E, 1 times uh, 10 to the power of 6. Wow, 10 to the power of 6. Which is 1 million. Ooh, guys. <laughs> this is just amazing. I have a round of applause. You know what I'm saying, guys? Yes, he said, a round of applause, man, uh, to Mr. Beckard. Yeah, one of the most genius, you know, we have here in Zimbabwe. And from largest to smallest, what is the correct order of the following distance? LY stands for light, yeah, okay? So, A, one centimeter, uh, one kilometer, one LY, uh, one AU, C, one kilometer, one centimeter, one LY, AU, E, one AU, one LY, 
one centimeter and one kilometer. B, one LY, one kilometer, one AU, one centimeter. Uh, D, L, I mean, uh, yes, LY, ILY, IAU, one kilometer and one centimeter. It is, the correct format is one light year, LY, one AU, one kilometer, and one centimeter. Wow, that is correct format. Yes. All right, <laughs> it's very, very correct, okay? And uh, the other question, two comma uh, nine by 10 to the power of six is the same as A, 2.9 thousand, B, 29 thousand, C, 290,000, D, 2.9 million, E, 29 million. So like I said, uh, one times uh, 10 to the power of six is mm. one million. So what you're basically saying is 2.9 2 times one million, which is 2.9 million. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, wow. <laughs> I'm sure of words. Should I continue giving you questions? Because now it's, it's, it seems like I'm the one learning here, you know? <laughs> You're my lecturer. But anyway. Do the math if you don't believe me. <laughs> Let's try that. Okay, but anyway. A light year. A light year. A is the distance between the sun and the earth. B is the time it takes uh, light to, to, to travel uh, to the nearest star. C is any year that is not a leap year. D is the diameter of the solar system. E, none of the above. Now, before I say the answer, uh, what you guys should know is light year is not time. Mm. It is actually distance. So a light year is actually the distance it takes for light to travel mm. um, in a year, right? Okay. So the answer is right there. It's none of the above. None of the above. Yes. Well, it's, not, it's not about time. Uh, the, if you read the answers again, what are the answers? Okay, let me just give you the answers uh, one more time. Is the distance between the sun and the earth. It is the time it takes a light to travel to the nearest star. C is any year that is not a leap year. And D uh, is the diameter of the solar system. Uh, none of the above. Mm -hmm. A light year is... Uh, is how, f uh, is how far light can travel in a year. Oh. Or light can travel, yes. Okay, okay, that's fine. So from the smallest to the largest, uh, you know, uh, the correct order of the following is, uh, of the following object is A, Earth's uh, orbit, Jupiter, Milky Way galaxy, solar system. B, Milky Way uh, galaxy, solar system, Earth's uh, orbit, Jupiter. And C, Jupiter, Earth's orbit, uh, solar system, Milky Way galaxy. And D, solar system, uh, Earth's orbit, Milky Way galaxy, uh, Jupiter. And E, the last one, Earth's orbit, Milky Way galaxy, and solar system, Jupiter. All right, so... People should know, okay, Jupiter is the biggest in our solar system, right? Mm -hmm. But now we're talking about Earth's rotation. Yes. Earth's, Earth's orbit, I meant. Earth's orbit around the sun. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot because the sun is, is, is huge. Mm -hmm. So Earth's orbit around the sun uh, is bigger than Jupiter. So mm -hmm. we'd say Jupiter is the smallest. Um, then we have Earth's orbit. Then we have our solar system containing our planets, right? Mm -hmm. Our solar system. Yeah. Then we have our Milky Way galaxy that contains our solar system. Okay. So basically, Jupiter, Earth's orbit, solar system, Milky Way galaxy. Mm, I see. I see. Now I'm learning, guys. I hope you guys are taking some notes. I hope you guys are taking some notes. And it's only, you know what? I should do the now this guy is not even at that level of learning such. level. This is like A-level, university-level content. But look at him. He's just, how old? 
Uh, 12 years old. He's just 12 years. We can't believe it. I can't believe it as well. You know, some of the stuff he's telling me is new to me, uh, probably because I'm, I, I chose journalism, not, you know, being a scientist, an astronomer, mm -hmm. whatnot. But I'm learning from this guy. Honestly, I'm learning, guys. So you should learn too. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Bacon, the moon has an angular diameter of 0 0.5 degree. So what is the moon's angular diameter? You know, in minutes of arc. So to find the minutes of arc, right? You say angular diameter times 60. Because uh, one degree uh, converted to minutes of arc mm -hmm. is 60. Yeah. So our, our angular degree of the moon, right, mm -hmm. is 0 0.5. Mm. So 0 0.5 times 60. Yeah. So 0 0.5 times 60 is 30. Wow. So our answer is 30 minutes of arc. 30 minutes of arc. Yes. Correct. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. So I didn't give you, you know, A, B, C, and D, like the multiple, quest, uh, multiple choice answers, but I wanted to test your IQ as well. And it, it, it's, the answer is right there. It's correct. 30. Okay. So the celestial equator is A, a line around the sky directly above its equator. B, the path that the sun appears to follow on the celestial sphere as Earth orbits uh, the sun. C, the dividing line between the north and south celestial hemisphere. D, uh, A and B, E, A and C. Uh, e, A and C. Uh, A and C, uh, what is it again? A and C, the A is a line around the sky. You know, yes. directly above the Earth's equator. Yes. And see the dividing line between the north and south celestial hemispheres. Uh, answer is A and C. Mm -hmm. The two answers, A and C. Okay, why do you say so? Uh, that's another question for another day. Yeah. We're going to have another interview, right? Yes. I'm going to explain everything I haven't explained yet. Yeah. Okay, that's great. And um, the, the question number eight. Each day from a point on Earth, South of the equator, most stars appear to A, remain stationary overhead, D, move to the north, B, uh, rise in the east and set in the west, E, move to the south, C, rise in the west and set in the east. Um, it, it, is it, wait, okay, okay, okay. So it's rise in the east and set in the west. Mm -hmm. And what multiple choice is that? Okay, it's uh, B. B. Yes. So our answer is B. Rise in the e east uh -huh. and set in the west. In the west. Wow. At uh, number, number, number 10. So at, ve at, at vernal equinox, the sun is directly above A, south pole, C, north pole, E, the Tropic of Capricorn, B, the Equator, and D, the Tropic of Cancer. Um, so, equinox comes from the word equator. So, and the sun is directly at the equator, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's above the equator. Now, because it's above the equator, the equator is hot. It's, yeah. in, it's in the middle of our Earth, mm -hmm. right? So, um... Let me give countries, for example. Uh, we have Malaysia. Yes. Uh, it's right above the equator, so uh, it makes Malaysia hot. Mm -hmm. uh, we, have the, uh, we have DRC, the Democratic uh, Republic of Congo. Congo, right? yes. It's right in the equator. Mm -hmm. So those make, those are just two countries. There are a lot of countries in, uh, right on the equator. Yeah. Um, those are countries that are hot because the sun is directly at the equator. Mm hmm Wow, that's, uh, that's very, very, very interesting. I'm talking to Mr. Bacon right now uh, on the Ola 7 podcast show. This segment is called uh, The Genius Kids. So, you know, your genius kid, if you have your son or your daughter or whatever, you think it is, he or she is very intelligent, guys, just <laughs> book Panambides 
how we are city the team bonds always forget to me that say because I'm learning a lot from this guy, uh, Mr. Bacon. And um, welcome back to the Genius Kids Show here on the All Are Seven Podcast Show. I'm talking to my brother here, young brother, very intelligent. His name is Mr. Bacon, real name Adonis Nyangoni. So the guy is very, very intelligent, guys. I'm sure you you can also <laughs> you agree with me when I say he's very, very intelligent, very sharp. You know, so, and uh, we were just talking about uh, astronomy, and I've learned a lot, but right now, we want to shift focus. He's not only well-versed in astronomy, now we want to talk about animation. He's also into uh, animation, he's doing, you know, you know, uh, his animation at home and whatnot, whatnot, so let's find out from him. Mr. Bacon, I want to know, what is animation? You know, I want, I really want to know. Um, so... Animation is the process of creating the illusion of motion and change mm -hmm. um, by displaying a sequence of static images and frames. Mm -hmm. So what that means, basically, is I'm going to state the traditional way mm -hmm. or how maybe your generation used to do it yeah. or maybe you used to do it. Mm -hmm. So you take a book, right? You draw, let's say a stick man, mm -hmm. right? You draw a stick man on the first page. Then you draw another stick man on the second page. Mm -hmm. But this time he has changed his motion. Yeah. He's jumping. Then you draw another stick man on the other page. Mm -hmm. And now he's standing back. So basically you were trying to create a guy jumping, a stick man jumping. Mm -hmm. So now when you flip the pages all at once... You would see, you would, you would create the illusion of motion and change. You create the illusion of the stick man jumping. So that's just one demonstration of what animation is. Okay. So um, what, you know, is the frame rate in, um, in animation? Um, the frame rate in animation, um, sometimes uh, when you're talking maybe, about... Maybe before, uh, let me just cut you there. Before... Um, we talk about uh, the frame rate. Let's talk about the pep the primary purpose, you know, of uh, keyframes in animation. All right. Yeah. So the first example I gave you, let's take that. So you've drawn your stickman three pages, right? Mm -hmm. So a frame rate defines the starting and ending point of uh, a, uh, an animation transition to make it smooth. So basically, let's say, okay, you have three papers, right? And you've a uh, major guy jumping, but that's not, it's not really that good. It's not that spot on when you're talking about mm -hmm, animation because mm -hmm. there are only three uh, pages. And when we're talking about pages, right, um, we, can, we can call them frames for now because, mm -hmm. so we have one frame, which is one page. We have two frames, which is two uh, pages. And we have our third frame, which is three pages. Three pages. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, since we have animated our guy jumping, mm -hmm. um, our keyframing is three. Mm -hmm. We have three keyframes. It even works when you're talking about animating on a computer. Mm -hmm. So, one keyframe, it can be a guy um, uh, putting his hand down, right? The other keyframe is putting his hand up, right? Mm -hmm. Then, the other keyframe, putting his hand down. That now, must be a lot of work. Uh, not that much, mm -hmm. if you get to understand animation. Yeah. So, you've made your animation, you've made your animation using keyframes. Mm -hmm. So, you've made your animation, um, your hand move up and down yes. using keyframes. Mm -hmm. So, another example of keyframing, um, we have the, the traditional way, mm -hmm. the one I explained just now. Yeah. So... Our first keyframe, let's say on a book, right? Mm -hmm. Our first keyframe, a guy uh, opening his eyes. The other keyframe, closing his eyes. And the other keyframe, opening his eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, when you flip the pages all together, you create the illusion of the man blinking. Mm. Yes. Oh, so like I see. One keyframe, mm -hmm. me staring at something. Yeah. Other keyframe, me blinking. Mm -hmm. and then the other keyframe, opening my eyes. Wow. Now, if you play it, Blink. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's interesting. So, I, 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 yeah, now, now you can tell me the, the rate in animation, the uh, frame rate. All right, the frame rate in animation. Uh, it can be 24 frames per second. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the three commonly used 
uh, uh, frame rates. Mm -hmm. Those being 24 frames per second, uh, 30 frames per second, and 60 frames per second. Mm. In abbreviations, FPS. So 20 frames per second is um, is when you're if you, is when you want to animate a, a, a film mm -hmm. or you just want to make a film, yeah, a short movie or something or a movie. Mm -hmm. Then we have 60 frames per second and 30 frames per second if uh, if you want to make a game. Mm -hmm. So those are the commonly used frames, 60 and 30 frames per second if you want to make a game. Mm -hmm. 24 frames per second if you want to make a film. Wow. And frame rates um, also, they make your animations or your production, it can be anything actually, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be animation, yeah. it can be real life. Mm -hmm. So it makes your animations a lot smoother, mm -hmm. uh, the higher the frame rate, the smoother it gets. Oh, I see. So many movies are animated in 24 frames per second. Mm. Like, have you seen Spider-Man? Yes, yeah, Spider-Man, yes. Spider-Man. One of my favorites. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the mm. animated one. Yeah? Yes, that was animated in 24 frames per second. 24 frames per second? Yes. Jeez. Yeah, but uh, it sounds like it's, um, it's a lot of work, my guy. It's a yeah. lot of work. So that's what you're doing? Yes. I have a YouTube channel that uh, I actually animate some content on it, then I post it on YouTube. Mm. So we're going, to, we're going to talk about that, uh, you know, your YouTube channel so that people can go and subscribe to your YouTube channel. I want to know, um, maybe explain, if you can explain the difference between 2D and 3D animation. Um, so 2D animation, right? It's just like what you've learned in school, right? Mm -hmm. Like shapes and all. 2D animation is animating in a two-dimensional space mm -hmm. um, with less depth. Mm -hmm. Um... It's not as realistic as 3D animation. Now, 3D animation is animated in a, uh, a three-dimensional space with more depth. And fun fact, our planet Earth, in mm. fact, everything in the world, or everything in our universe is, is three-dimensional. Three-dimensional. So, yes, three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. So, animating in three-dimensional space gives your animation depth and... Uh, more, much more detail mm -hmm. to yeah, much more detail, and much more uh, realism. Mm -hmm. So, uh, most people might argue that oh, two D animation is way harder than three mm -hmm. D animation. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, I think three D animation is easier because <laughs> you don't have to be drawing yes. all frames per second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, yes. Okay. So. Um, what is the purpose, you know, of the squash and stretch principle in animation? So the, the, okay, squash and stretch principle in animation, right? Basically, um, it adds more exaggeration to your movements. Like, for example, if you have hair, like me, right? Mm -hmm. If you have hair, yeah. your hair, when you move your head, it's not going to stay still like yeah. that. It's yeah. not going to stay still. Yeah, it's going to yeah. move, move with me. Yeah. It's going to mm -hmm. move with me. Yes. So that's basically what's going on in animation mm -hmm. when you're talking about the squash and stretch principle mm. in animation. It just adds physics to your animation. Mm -hmm. So it makes your animation much more realistic, mostly mm. found in um, 3D animation. 3D animation, okay. So what is the role of the story, you know, storyboard in animation production? Um, it's, it's just like, um, it's just like, uh, uh, what is it called? A blueprint for your animation. It's like a script for your animation, mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so that the animators uh, have an idea on what they're um, creating. Mm -hmm. It's like a script, but in pictures. So they either put um, the storyboard on their wall, so that every time they need ideas for what they're gonna make next or how they're gonna animate this scene, mm -hmm. they look at the storyboard. Yeah. It's like a blueprint, mm -hmm. but in animation. Wow. So, um, I also want to know, you know, the difference between traditional animation and computer generated. Okay, so traditional animation is hand-drawn animation, just like 2D. Mm -hmm. Like we have our old Disney movies, like Mickey yes, Mouse. Yes, yes, Mickey Mouse, yeah. Yes. So we have our old Disney movies. Those were hand-drawn mm -hmm. and much more labor. Uh, when you when you want to uh, make traditional animation, mm -hmm. 
computer generated uh, animation gives you uh, computer algorithms, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So it doesn't have to be, it's automatic basically. Mm -hmm. So all frames per second is automatic. Mm -hmm. So you can just move on to the next keyframe instead of adding too many frames per mm -hmm. second. Mm -hmm. So you can just move on to the next keyframe, animate your guy, and that's computer generated yeah. uh, animation. It's just like 3D. Or it is 3D animation. Mm, okay. And, uh, you know, someone is asking, you know, the purpose of the rigging process in 3D animation. So rigging is mostly found in 3D animation, right? So rigging is just adding a skeleton to your models. Mm, or, mm, yes, mm. bones to your models. Okay. So that you can manipulate their, their movement, their limbs and all. To mm -hmm. animate your guy walking, yes. sh waving their hand. Mm -hmm. Without rigs in animation, your model will just be stiff. There, oh, there are no yes. bones. Mm. So, yes, that's so what it, it. like you're adding bones. Yes, bones to your models. Finger oh, yeah. bones, hand mm -hmm. bones. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so what, let's talk about the concept uh, of uh, easing in uh, animation. So the concept of easing animation, I use it all the time, mm -hmm. right? When your animation is too jerky, like it goes like, whew, too fast, mm -hmm. right? You can ease it to make it go slowly Slow. and much more smoother. Mm -hmm. So that's basically it. Okay. Ooh, guys, guys, guys. This is Mr. Bacon. Ah, oh, my guy, my guy. I'm, 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 in, you know, I'm impressed, you know, to say the least. Thank you. I'm and also, mm. fun fact about animation. It, you might not know this, but animation is actually found everywhere. Mm. It's a billion dollar industry. It's, it's not just for entertainment. Okay. It's also for educational purposes. Mm. Like for example, if you want to demonstrate what's in outer space, yeah. are you yeah. actually going to go to outer space no. with your students no. to see what's in outer space? No. Um, if you're an animator teacher, you can just animate what's in outer space, mm, right? Mm, mm. Uh, a three D replica. What's yeah. in outer space? Mm -hmm. And you show it to your students. It's much more um, easier, mm -hmm. like that, yeah. than to explain it. And also, when we're talking about um, ad uh, marketing, uh, like like you say, you have your adverts. Yes. Adverts use a lot of animation, mm. like those DSTV adverts. Yeah. I'm actually fascinated in them. Really? Yes. Actually, I think those are the, the things that got me into animation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I, I, I understand you've got your own YouTube channel. Yes. Is it like, you know, what's there on your YouTube? Uh, it? It's... I mostly do animation on my mm -hmm. YouTube channel. Yeah? With over 600 uh, subscribers. Right now? Yes, right 600. Now. So, guys... If you really want to support Mr. Bacon, he's on 600 subscribers as we speak. Let's take him to 10,000. I know it's very possible. I know it's very, very doable. Just go and subscribe to his YouTube channel. So what's your YouTube channel, by the way? My, my YouTube channel is Mr. Bacon. Mr. Bacon, yeah, that's his name now. Mr. Bacon, just go and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Let's take him to 10,000 you know, subscribers. Let, 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 him, let him also you know, make money from that. Are you intending to make money from, from that? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> but also, um, there are many Mr. Bacons on, on YouTube. Mm. I actually searched uh, my, my YouTube name on mm -hmm. YouTube mm -hmm. and I saw, oh my goodness, there's so many Mr. Bacons. Oh. So what I did to my channel is I added an exclamation mark mm -hmm. so that it's easier for YouTube to identify oh, my YouTube channel. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. Okay, that's so fine. So Mr. Bacon with an, with an exclamation, exclamation mark. mark. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, that's fine. I'll go and subscribe after this show. <laughs> Definitely, I'll just go and subscribe, like, comment, share, you know, <laughs> everything. <laughs> so when you grow up, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to be a filmmaker because I think the film industry in Zimbabwe is kind of... Ah, you got dark one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I got, like... I see, I got dark one, okay? Like, like if, you, if you watch ZBC, do you watch ZBC? Yeah, I do. Like, the, the TV quality is kind of messed up, you uh -huh. know? Um, the audio quality, not that good, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I think it's lack of um, equipment. Because if you see, 
If you see it in South Africa, right? Yeah. You see their adverts. Yes. They're, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. Even their, 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 their um, Zanzi mm -hmm. uh, TV shows. Zanzi TV shows, yeah. Yes. yeah I they're do watch amazing. Those. They're amazing. Ah. Then Zimbabwe, on the other hand, is just like South Africa, mm -hmm. but... Yeah. We are lacking somewhere. Yeah, we're lacking somewhere. So I want to fix that when I grow up. You want to fill that gap? Yes. Or maybe I can do it now. Now? Hire me, ZBC. <laughs> <laughs> ZBC, guys, and please hire me. Oh, that's Mr. Bacon. <laughs> so, hey, don't go by Munu. We're not grafting Mr. Bacon. I wouldn't need willing. So, hey, but you sound expensive, my guy. <laughs> honestly, honestly. So how much, let's say, uh, they, will, they say, okay, Mr. Bacon, come, let's, 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 you know, give us your services. How much would you charge them? I, I, I really don't know. That's up to my manager. Yeah. Mrs. Bacon. Mrs. Right Bacon, there. right there. <laughs> <laughs> the mother. Okay. Yes. That's, your, that, that's your manager. Yes. Wow. So which school do you go to? Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I go to Hartman House, but mm -hmm. in the future, I'll be going to a different school okay. in another country. Mm -hmm. Mother, guys, it's like losing someone. He's going to Spain. I wish, you, I, I wish you well. I wish you all the best then. So what are you going to be doing in Spain uh, apart from, from, from school? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be growing my YouTube channel because mm -hmm. my sister is in Spain, right? Yeah. And she has equipment in Spain for me mm. to grow my YouTube channel properly. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm I'm actually animating on a laptop, which, yeah. which isn't that good. Mm. Um, mm. my 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 model, mm -hmm. my model for the laptop, yeah. or let's just say the graphics card mm -hmm. is bad for animation. But I still try. Okay. Yes. That's great. Uh, good to have you, Mr. Bacon, on the, to have you too. the Genius Kids show. You are one of the most genius kids we have here in Zimbabwe. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the Genius Kids show here on the All of Seven podcast show. We're going to be giving you more and more genius kids on this platform. So if you have Manawenyo Amdakuunza Kunok show, you can just, you know, um, book pan number to put up a screen pay you so that I'm going to sit on this same chain. Uh, remember, it's not only about astronomy. It's not only about animation. He or she could be, you know, talented or gifted in some other areas as well. He can just come here and share with us and talk to your genius child. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the support. We love you. Ciao.